Hey guys and welcome to another live stream of Digital Classroom and actually this isn't a live stream we recorded this because we have some problems with YouTube and making everything in sync and to be totally honest at this moment YouTube is actually down for us so I don't know what's going on but I think that problem is there so I recorded this on the hard drive and I will upload it later so during this whole semi lockdown thing we are doing some live stream so sometimes we will do something about photography sometimes we will do something about guitars and today it's all about photography because today i actually got mail my new book and it's about speed lights it's a book that uh, a few years ago i wrote a book called the magic of the small stroke and that was a really good book but they asked me like hey frank can you uh, do an updated version of the book let me switch that camera over because then i can show you a little bit better and I didn't want to do um, like an updated version of this book for the very simple reason. If you do an updated version, you're still actually reading the old book, but with new information. So what I decided is, you know what, let's just write a whole new book. So I started writing and it's literally everything about the small stroke. So it's about what kind of batteries you use. Even lithium ion batteries are discussed. Uh, what kind of modifiers. Um, we have some tips there in from Martin Hogeboom, Joe McNally, Rick Salmon. And of course, next to the technique part. So that's what's a, uh, HSS, high speed sync. What is ETTL? All that stuff, exposure compensation, including flash exposure compensation. We also have a whole chapter on creativity. So setting up lighting, using accessories. Uh, how can you bounce light? How can you shoot it through a reflector? It's a really, really interesting and most of all, very intense book. So make sure you check it out. It's available now via our own store. Uh, best is just to email us. And you can also get it in the better bookstores in the Netherlands. And of course, the camera stores as soon as they open up again. So... Fotograferen met een kleine flitser. That's the Dutch title. At the moment, it's only available in Dutch. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the last time we did a digital classroom episode, the live stream, I got some questions about combining continuous lighting and strobes. So I decided to give a little bit more attention to that. Now, when you shoot a uh, motion, one of the things that you always have to remember is that your strobe actually freezes the motion. So, in other words, it looks like this. There's no light coming in, no light coming in. Boom, the strobe, it freezes motion and no light coming in. Now, that peak is sometimes called the T05. That means how long does it take for the light to be half in intensity? And it's a really important one because that actually determines how you freeze motion. For example, if you have a strobe with a flash duration of 1 800th of a second, you may say, it's not 100% true, but you may say that is my shutter speed. So calculate back. If you can freeze motion with 1 800th of a second, that strobe will do. But most of the time when you have a model that jumps, one eight hundredths of a second isn't enough. You need one two thousandths and even preferably up. That's why we love those handles because they top out at one eight thousandths of a second. That's awesome for crisp images. So one of the guys last time asked me like, hey Frank, but how do you combine ambient light or continuous lighting with that strobe? Well, Continuous lighting is cumulative. I hope I pronounce it correct. Cumulative. It adds up. So in other words, as soon as you open up the shutter, it starts like this and it goes up, 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 up. And at one point you have your perfect exposure or overexposed or underexposed, depending on how you set up your camera. But it adds up. A strobe is one pulse. So when you use continuous lighting in combination with strobes, the following thing happens. It adds up, it adds up, it adds up. Boom. The strobe, it adds up. And when you stop here, you have something like day to night because the strobe was more light output than the continuous lighting. Now, when we do something in the studio with motion, you of course want to combine those two. So let's take a look at, for example, this image. This was done with one of the LED tubes from LetGo. And what you can see is the model is frozen with the strobe and the LED is actually just turning around. And we can show you the same thing here. Um, let me go a little bit further down. Uh, for example, when we take a look at shots like these. Now, what you see here is something else. Now, we have one strobe on this side where we only use the modeling light. And we have one strobe on that side that actually fires. And it's an exposure, I guess, of two seconds. And what I told my model is on two, you have to be at that strobe. So one, two, boom, strobe fires. Now, how did I set up the strobes? This strobe was set up on a second shutter curtain. I'm using a shutter speed of two seconds. So that means that 
first the ambient light captures the model and then at the end boom the strobe freezes the model so how do i get so much continuous lighting from my strobes well in essence it's very very simple what you do is you put your strobe output on the lowest setting but you put your modeling light on the highest setting so in this case we're using second shutter curtain let the model turn and then freeze the motion but you can also do it of course one strobe on first shutter curtain second strobe on the second and then you have to have a system that actually supports that so not all systems support that but if you have a system that supports it you can do some really cool stuff because at that point you can do stuff for example like let me find a picture Okay, here we go. Okay, so the one on the left is actually the first time the f uh, strobe fires. The one on the right is the second one. And as you can also see here, I'm using another technique. I'm actually zooming in a little bit and I'm moving my lens just a little bit with the model. So normally when a model turns, she will start, for example, here. She turns, she turns, she turns, and she ends up here. Now, if you just leave your camera like this in one fixed position, what a lot of people do, you get an image similar to the one you saw before with the red. Now, here, what you already see is that in the first image, I hope you can see my mouse pointer, in the first image, the model is smaller than in the second image. And that means that I also used a little bit of zoom. Now, when you also start to move your camera, you can actually make those two blend together, like here. So now I actually move my camera with the motion of the model. And at that point you get a, like a cling together model. So it's a really, really nice and cool technique. So I hope that <laughs> answered the question about ambient light combining with strobes. Next time we will do another live stream, probably tomorrow, if we get everything in order with the audio sync. Because for the next one we really need audio sync. Because we're going to just chop it up a little bit during the semi-lockdown. We are doing one live stream about photography and one live stream a little bit more about another hobby of mine. And tomorrow... If I get everything in order, we're going to show you this baby. This is a 1984 Model 60s, but a 1984 Maple Neck White. Yeah, it's supposed to be white, but they always discolor over time. And it's not a Fender. It's actually a Musima. And a Musima is actually an East German guitar. And this one was made in 1984. There's a very, very special story about that guitar. I'll tell you that tomorrow. And that is actually a copy of a Fender. And according to a lot of people, it's actually just as good as the USA Fender. So tomorrow we're going to show you that. And everything else, just leave comments below. If you have any questions, just ask them. Because then we can make new live broadcasts or live streams, sorry, and answer those questions. And again, check out my new book. It's available now. Just drop us an email and we will send it to you. See you again next time. Bye, guys.